Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I got to tell you, just the upshot of these past couple months, uh, the IRS to me is an institution that is that is terminally ill. We had um, uh, admission that the agency abused its power by targeting conservative groups, which effectively silenced a substantial number of Americans for the 2012 election. We had the IRS commissioner at that time come before us when asked if he accepted responsibility for the malfeasance, said, well, it happened on my watch, but I'm not responsible. Now, that would not fly in virtually any other aspect of American life. I'm a Navy guy. If a Navy ship runs aground and the captain of the ship were to say, well, yeah, we ran it aground on my watch, but um, that's actually some E-5's responsibility because he messed up you would be gone um, immediately. Uh, Lois Lerner came in front of the committee, invoked her Fifth Amendment right uh, against self-incrimination rather than answering questions for the American people. Now, I think she waived her Fifth Amendment right. I think the committee is going to have something to say about that this week. Uh, but she has been placed on leave, but she is still with the agency. We had an interesting hearing in which an I IRS official was uh, questioned about lavish spending at conferences, suites, $3,500 a night, $50,000 plus for Star Trek parody video. Um, and it's interesting, they didn't know exactly how much the video cost because they didn't keep receipts uh, for the expenses, and all we got was an apology uh, tendered. Um, if the IRS were investigating an American and the American said they just didn't bother to keep receipts or offered an apology, that probably would not be the end of it. I think the IRS would hold them accountable and demand more. Um, but yet, to my knowledge, we haven't gotten any accountability for this lavish spending and waste of taxpayer funds. It's, oh, we need more, better procedures, more training, this and that. And so here we are another day and another invocation uh, of the Fifth Amendment. Uh, we see, to me, clear example of cronyism and waste of taxpayer money. But again, as my colleague from South Carolina, Mr. Gowdy, pointed out, uh, no accountability. Uh, Ms. Tucker, I appreciate when you mentioned due process, but it seems to me, uh, where is the due process for the American taxpayer? You know, why does the taxpayer always have to take the back seat? Why is there so little accountability in this incredibly powerful uh, bureaucracy? It is almost as if the IRS has all this power, but some of their officials are held to a lower standard than what we would expect in private business or people, even in other aspects of the government, uh, such as uh, the military. And to me, uh, that is not acceptable. Uh, and if that means we need to change uh, some of the laws that govern this, then I think we absolutely have to do it. So I think this is a profound culture of arrogance in the IRS, and I think the American people are sick of it. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back well, the, the balance of my time.